Welcome to Pex Beginner's Guide of Neat Chapter 3, The Spirit Zone Slumber. So we're going to be fighting this enemy first. And, uh, just going to be going across these bridge. Pull out your Kusurigama. Uh, what I should have done is, before I went to fight that yokai, there is a revenant that's going to throw firebombs at you. Unfortunately, I take a couple of damage right there. Uh, so I quickly use my elixir. So what I should have done before approaching that yokai, I should have used my matchlock to shoot that revenant in order for me to not get all, you know, very uh, hasty and trying to keep dodging in order to fight the yokai. But luckily, I did manage to uh, beat that yokai very quick. So just waiting for that uh, revenant to throw his bomb and then use pick up these items uh, memorial talisman uh, what that does is pretty much uses you your spear guardian to help you fight in battle all right so we're just gonna be fighting this remnant right here uh, pick up loot out this corpse and we're just gonna be wave dashing uh, through this area and we're just gonna go behind this tree uh, because there is a remnant right there that you can avoid. And uh, we're just going to be going through this area. We're going to go to the right. And uh, there is a uh, mini house. Uh, right behind that there is a ninja. So we just pull out our Kusurigama and start attacking. Him. And there is a reason why we're at this area. So wait for this ninja to attack and then attack him. And there you go, punch. Uh, so the reason why is because when looting this corpse, there is a key, which is the East Gate key, uh, that helps unlock a certain door, which leads to the second shrine. So we're just gonna wave dash our way to uh, to the second shrine just by going to the left. Uh, quickly pass that yokai before he notices us. And uh, there are a couple of stone enemies right here. I forgot their name, but we're just going to call them stone enemies. So, easiest way to do, just pull out your Kusuri Rama, and then use your heavy attack to distance yourself and still give this enemy some damage. Uh, once enough low a low health for, from this stone enemy, have him attack, and then punish him with the uh, high stance light attack. Uh, so we're going to do the same thing with this stone enemy. There will be sometimes he'll be slashy from the side, just watch out for that. takes care of those two stone enemies and what's great about them is that they don't respawn when using the shrine so that's a very good opportunity for you to attack them first before going to the shrine all right now uh, now that we have our second shrine we're just gonna wait for this yokai to walk back and then just go through this gate which we will be fighting our first boss who is Nue. Uh, he is a lightning type boss who is weak against water. Uh, so, use a Kusurigama, use Summer Twilight, cover the Kusurigama with a water talisman. Go towards using the weakness talisman. Uh, have him use his lightning. And then he's going to be using a uh, another lightning attack that strikes the ground four times. Uh, just run around. And then wait for him to use his beam, which uses a lot of stamina. Take that advantage and just use two high stance light combos on him and then step back and he's going to be recovering his stamina by using a lightning strike and then he'll do another four lightning strikes and uh, sometimes he'll do that pounce attack but you can punish that by doing uh, again do the two light hit combos and uh, again, oh yeah, and he's just gonna keep rinse and repeating, and you can also rinse and repeat the punishes. So he'll sometimes use his slash attacks, 
pretty easy. Just uh, just keep dodging at the right time so that you won't get hurt. So I use the weakness talisman and water talisman just to bring down his health. So always go to the left side when using that lightning attack. Uh, for some reason, his stamina did go down when using that. Um, maybe I just probably... Uh, maybe it was a late timing. But there you go, that one worked. So in order for him to keep using that lightning attack, all you just need to do is uh, be far away from him. The, that way, yeah, I got hit by that, but it's nothing to worry about. If you have high, uh, very uh, good armor, then you shouldn't be worried. If you're still alive, just use the elixir at the possible timing. And there you go. If you have done those steps correctly and rinse and repeat, congratulations, you have beaten the UA. Alright, so we'll just do a quick uh, look on our inventory for both our weapons and uh, armor. And then, uh, and then you can also go to your prestige and uh, upgrade uh, your stats as well with your character. Alright, so just pass through this gate. There is this one-eyed yokai right here. Uh, you don't need to attack him. Uh, I did it too far, but you gotta go clo a little close to him and then use a gesture. I should just, just use the bow and then he'll just approve and he'll disappear. Alright, so we're just going to go through this shrine just to get to the checkpoint, you don't need to do anything. And uh, so these gates are completely shut and we need to find a way to open them. So to go through that, just come up here and we're just going to be passing all these enemies. We're not going to attack any of them. So just take a left, go to the right, go all the way down to the left, wait for your key to recover, and then just pass this yokai. Uh, and then just go to the right and then just run up uh, block because you're gonna be you might get shot by this revenant who shoots arrows uh, so keep going jump down here uh, just keep wave dashing go to the left go all the way down past all these statues don't worry these statues are not alive uh, if you want to know the difference between the that and the actual uh, stone enemies one of them looks lighter than the other all right so there are two revenants up these stairs just past them uh, and then just pass this stone enemy by going to the right go up go to the right again just keep going uh, go straight then take a right and then go uh, down here and then that's where you see this uh, uh, soul stone lamp you need to light that up in order to open the gate and uh, if you feel like you want to use the shrine again by all means uh, but I only use it just to reset the enemies so they won't be chasing me all right and we're just gonna be going past this gate again and there are gonna be some enemies there but we're not gonna attack them again we're just gonna be run uh, way dashing past them Alright, so just go down here. There are some enemies here, but they won't attack you when trying to open the gate because there is a tree that blocks the attack, uh, mainly just the, the arrows. And uh, yeah, uh, we're going to use this shrine right here. Uh, so there is a shrine right here. Uh, we're going to level up. Let's see what we need to level up. I believe we're going to level up body by one. 
Uh, magic by one and spirit by two. All right. And then Rich is going to go to our skill set. And we're going to be going on dual sword and unlock sign of the cross. And then I believe that's it. Just use sign of the cross. Uh, basically what that is when uh, it does a slash attack, um, which does some good damage. Uh, and that usually only works when your sword is unsheathed. And it does only work on the dual wield, uh, sorry, the dual sword. Uh, you can also, there is a skill like that also on the katana. Um, there's also another move with the dual sword that is like the same with the, the Reaper of Kusurigama. Uh, we might be unlocking that later on. All right, so we're just going through a certain inventory that we believe that either the uh, weapons or the armor might be higher, uh, including its special effects. And we're just gonna be equipping those and then move on to the next gate. Anyway, yeah, talk to her. Uh, uh, once you touch the uh, soul stone lamp, have her touch it as well, and then open the gate. And then we'll be finding some enemies, uh, mostly just the stone enemies we're just going to be using. We're going to have her uh, fight these stone enemies because she has a higher attack. Uh, and the, the weapon she uses uh, has a good effect to it. So she's not really doing well, so I guess I have to help her out. Alright, and there is another stone enemy just past that yokai, so just use the matchlock to lure him here. Uh, and I just realized there is a revenant to our left, so I'll just take care of him as well. So again, we're just gonna lure him so that she can attack him. She probably, yeah, she does like about, I think about like two hits on an enemy. And then now we're just gonna be fighting uh, this giant one-eyed yokai. So the strategy for that, pretty simple. Have her attack him, uh, and then while she attacks him, you just attack him from the back. And if he turns, just step back and let her attack him from the back. And then just keep uh, do a pattern of attacking this yokai from the back uh, each time. Right, and now we're just gonna go down here. And before we uh, touch the soul stone lamp, we're just gonna go to our uh, weapons and uh, switch our katana to the dual sword. And uh, just doing another quick check on armor. All right, so we're just gonna touch the soul stone lamp and have her touch it, and then uh, switch to Kusurigama, Use the summer twilight, switch to dual sword, cover it with the water talisman, and we proceed on fighting this enemy, uh, Munushige uh, Tachibana, or you can say it the other way around. Uh, so basically, the safest um, strategy would just have him uh, drain his stamina. Uh, to low to zero and then do not just keep hitting him until his uh, guard breaks then use a cross slash and then critical blow when he's down uh, to perform the critical blow press the heavy attack next to him so basically the character will strike him down really hard uh, and then just rinse and repeat the process you can also keep attacking him sometimes but yeah that's one reason sometimes his attacks is invisible and uh, you might uh, have, it might give you high damage of health. Uh, so, all right, there we go. Hit him once, have him go down, cross slash, and then critical blow. And then just rinse and repeat. I was going to attack him, but then all of a sudden he uses this attack. Sometimes it could be a one-hit kill, but if you have a high enough armor, you can at least get to like a critical kind of health. Uh, just use your elixir to recover, 
and just do it behind the pillars. He won't be attacking you behind these pillars. Uh, he'll try finding a way to go around, but it will take him time. So the safest way for you to, like, let's say, recover your health is, again, just go behind the pillar. Alright, and that should be it. Bam. Oh, there you go. Bam. <laughs> Alright, so if you have done these steps, congratulations, you have beaten uh, Munushige. Or Tachibana, or whichever you want to call him. But actually, in truth, he's actually a fake who is disguised by Kelly, who uh, basically uh, uses his uh, alchemy magic to disguise himself as him. Uh, and again, if you have watched the cutscenes from another YouTube video, you'll probably know what's going on. Uh, if not, no worries. Just focus. Uh, again, my purpose of this guide is for gameplay. But uh, yeah, uh, alright, so we're just going to be ending uh, this mission, and uh, we're going to eventually go to our blacksmith and restock our uh, ammo, um, maybe uh, buy a weapon or armor, uh, certain types. Um, there, there might be a certain weapon and armor we can find during in the bonus uh, inventory from the blacksmith. Uh, and as for the reward, I forgot to mention, you get the weapon Raikage, which is the same sword that the your the lady ally, <laughs> I don't know, I forgot her name, basically the ally, lady ally uh, uses uh, to help you out during this mission. And uh, yeah, you can also disassemble your uh, certain weapons if you want. Uh, then you can go to the shrine and sell, go to the offering and sell your weapons there to gain more Amarita. But I think before we do that, we're actually going to be doing uh, a dojo. And these dojos are pretty much uh, a way to unlock uh, your omio, your uh, uh, skills of weapons, in order for you to uh, unlock the next Finally. level of using the the magic or skill Oh, yeah, so also we are going to be going uh, on the blacksmith and uh, buy some antidotes in, uh, because of the next mission. And within this next mission, it actually uh, has a, a place fog of poison. Alright, so in the dojo, the way of the warrior, so what I just did, I just picked up an item, go to the inventory, uh, unlocked a, a warrior magic lock, I believe it was called. Uh, I ran all the way here to this bridge because that's where the enemies will start spawning once this uh, the, the mission starts. Uh, so what I did, I went to the skills and it made me uh, uh, unlock a certain so I'm just... Going to the customization. And uh, once I did that, the, uh, the mission starts. So just switch to mid stance with the sword. Just hit him four times. And uh, let's see. Yeah. And there you go. That's it. And that's the uh, way of the warrior novice. All right, so we're gonna go to our inventory and uh, use that young samurai locks. That's actually what you call it. And then um, use some spirit stones uh, so that we can gain more amaritas for us to unlock. Uh, basically level up 
Uh, but before that, we're gonna go to the Way of the Omnio Novice. Uh, this one's super easy. Uh, it's pretty much the same way. All you gotta do is pick up the item, go to the inventory, uh, select the Omeo Magic Lock, uh, and then it. Uh, you go to the skill set, go to the Omeo, unlock uh, Fire and Fire Shot, and then you go to the Shrine, uh, and then go to Ready Jutsu, and then s uh, select the Fire Talisman and the Fire Shot onto your shortcut. Uh, and I think you just need the, the fire shot for this because uh, this is going to be a quick uh, dojo mission. Alright, so just use the uh, fire shot on the uh, stone enemy and that's it. Uh, mission complete for the Omhyo uh, novice. Alright, so we're just going to go to the inventory, use the Omeo Magic Lock. And then we're going to go to our skill set, onto the Omeo. And we're just going to unlock the uh, Fire Talisman and the Fire Shot Talisman. Well, not Talisman, I guess. It's just a Fire Shot. Uh, we're just going to unlock uh, Wind and Lightning. Alright, so you just uh, unlock Pure Mind. And then Pure Heaven Earth. Uh, and then Kekai, and then we're also going to be unlocking Carnage as well. All right, and then we go to the dual. Uh, uh, go to the dual sword, and then uh, you, and then unlock uh, Water Sword, which is pretty much like the Reaper from Kusurigama. Alright, and then we go to the shrine, uh, and then we just uh, select certain uh, talismans uh, for the, the next mission. Uh, I believe we are going to be, I'm going to be selecting uh, the wind talisman, the water talisman, along with uh, the kekai, carnage, and uh, yeah, for some reason I was thinking, oh, uh, it looks like we, I wasn't able to uh, select Carnage and Kekai, but what I was supposed to do is go to the level up and then increase my magic to plus four. Now we should be able to uh, have both Kekai and Carnage uh, to select and put them in our shortcut. So yeah, we're actually, I'm actually going to be uh, select and uh, put the Water and Wind Talisman on the second shortcut and then select Antidote and uh, the Hyoka Mask. And the Hyoka Mask is going to be useful in the next mission, not the upcoming mission. So we're going to be selecting that ship that's right above to proceed to the next region. Uh, to the next mission, which is Chapter 4, The Silver Mine Rise. We're going to be actually finding all the Kodamas in the Spirit Stone Slumbers. Uh, so once again, I have it on New Game Plus. So we're going to be finding the first Kodama just by passing this bridge. Uh, and uh, just go to the left and you'll see the first Kodama on the tree. The next Kodama is going to be going down here. Uh, and it's just behind this house. So be careful, there are a couple of ninjas uh, hanging out there. So you can find your way to pass them or fight them. Just be careful. Alright, the next Kodama uh, is going to be also in another house, but be careful right here, there is a remnant that's going to be uh, waiting for you right there. 
uh, and then go right here to the left and find the Kodama right there. And then the next Kodama is going to be passing all these enemies right here. There'll be also another enemy on the roof that'll be throwing fireballs at you. Or firebombs, I would say. Uh, and there'll just be this uh, mini one eye yokai guarding the Kodama. So uh, defeat him, kill him, and then you'll find the next Kodama. And now the next Kodama is actually going to be inside the uh, temple. Uh, after fighting Nue, so I'm just gonna edit this out and get right to that uh, next Kodama. So the next Kodama, uh, just again, just uh, right here in this area, uh, fight or pass these enemies, uh, take the same route that you were taking during the mission. Uh, so you find this Kodama right here, uh, that's uh, at a, right there, just be careful of the trap. Uh, the next Kodama. Uh, just past here, there is a shrine, but it's not really worth using. Uh, and there's some enemies that's f too far away from you, so they're not a bother. Uh, there'll be a stone enemy and a revenant there, so be careful on that, and you'll find the next Kodama right there. Uh, the next one, you just have take the same route once again. Instead of going this way, uh, we just go to the opposite. Uh, just be careful, there is another trap right there, which I accidentally stepped on. A uh, couple of enemies right here to avoid. Careful. Uh, so just go up, left, right. Go to another right. Go right, then take a left. And then go behind, go around here. There is a revenant there to be careful, and you'll find the last Kodama. Alright, and then we just go to the nearest shrine. And uh, we just go to the uh, to the blessing, which is to the left, and it shows that uh, all the Kodamas are present and rescued. So congratulations if you have found and rescued all the Kodamas. So hopefully this video does help you.